Hey guys, Dom here, out for a walk in the bush this afternoon. And the topic that's come up a couple of times in this last few weeks, particularly with some clients and even just some discussions with some friends, is this whole thing of weight loss. So should I, as an older person, should I go into the weight loss thing straight away or should I do something different? So choice A is just go into weight loss straight after it, numbers on the scale, that's it. Choice number B is do something different. And that for me is focus on getting stronger first. And there are some cascading benefits with that. Now here's why I'm gonna go for number B rather than number A. So let's talk about A. Looking to just simply just go after weight loss and that's the only thing, it's just the number on the scale, simply means that the system that you would follow is Plain and simple, it's a calorie deficit because you hear every other numpty out there who thinks that they know how to manage your metabolism, it's a calorie deficit, that's it. Just eat less, just eat less, just eat less. The problem with that is this, a lot of people who are desperate for this have already gone the just eat less process. They're already down, they've already tanked their metabolism. They're struggling on 800 to 1000 calories a day. At some point, what happens? Your body gets smart and it says, screw that, that's it, I'm staying here, and here's my now, my new status quo. So what then happens? You then get frustrated, you then get pissed off, you get hangry are the words that they say, and then suddenly you go, stuff it, I just give up. And even if you've lost a little tiny bit, you're probably finding, a bit like the people on the Biggest Loser TV series all those years ago, you will rebound back, and then never ending, there's the vicious cycle. So you're already on low calories, you're already doing bugger all, you've got no energy to do anything, and you're still worried about the number on the scale. Point B, get strong first. Why do we do that? If I don't focus on the scale and I get stronger, regardless of where I am now currently eating, if I'm getting stronger, you will find over a period of time, you will start to feel hungrier, and you're gonna to need to fuel that because even if the scale hasn't changed, if the weights that you're shifting or you're getting stronger, it's likely that you're probably starting to add some muscle. If you're likely to be adding some muscle and everything else is staying equal and you're getting stronger, it's very likely then that your body will go, hey shit Dom, you got some muscle, I need to feed it, because it's a hungry son of a bitch, and therefore it will start to uptick that little metabolism of yours, metabolism start working again. So it's gone from tanking, but the stimulus, the fuel for the metabolism to get going again is that strength gains that has been supported by the new muscle gains. And it could be as simple as a pound or two or three or four or five pounds. I'm not talking about you getting on the stage at any Arnold or IFB Bikini Pro competition anytime soon. I'm simply saying to you, you get strong, you build some muscle, your metabolism will start to kick up. And then phase two of this is we can start to work on you fueling yourself right. If people do this properly, what you'll find, the term we use is a reverse diet. In other words, start eating a little bit more, but less of the shit stuff, but more of the good stuff to start to fuel the body. Eventually you'll go from 1,000 to 1,200 to 1,300. And if you're a normal human being like me, you're gonna be in the 2,000 plus, even three, three and a half thousand plus for a person of my build. And when you get to that stage, then you're ready to then maybe start to chase a little bit of the, let's call it, weight loss. I want you to use a different term here. I want you to go from weight loss to fat loss because I can build muscle, I can get stronger, the weight on the scale can go up, but if the weight on the scale is staying static and therefore I'm burning fat at the same time and I am in a nice straight line, screw these little downward charts that you see, but everything else is going positive, it's more than likely that your body composition is changing for the better. You have dropped body fat. You have maintained the same weight, but you are getting stronger and your metabolism's working because that new muscle you build is being now fed by the right things. So for me to you, please do not go down the path of just go after the number on the scale. 
It's a never ending cycle. It's like the shithouse hamster wheel that you can just not get off. Doesn't make a difference. Guy, girl, whatever the frick your pronouns are gonna be, what you need to do is you need to think long game. You need a metabolism that works. You wanna get strong because hey, if you ever fall over, then you're less likely to slip, trip, and break a goddamn hip. So if it is weight loss, change the term, it's fat loss. We'll get fat loss by focusing on getting stronger, eating right, kicking the metabolism up, putting on some good quality muscle, which you're gonna need when we get older, because look at all those oldies in the nursing homes going around their Zimmer frames. You wanna be the strong one. You want to be still fully capable. You still want to be able to get your own shit done. So, key takeaway. Don't chase the number on the scale. Chase the number on the bar. Let the weight go up. Get stronger. Build the muscle. Get the metabolism done. Refuel. Reverse out the shitty, shitty diet. And then, body composition. Voila. Now, if you want to know more about how we do this, that's simple. Just Dom, send me a message. You know the DM thing. Send me a chat, a text, whatever, because it's not just me, but it's other people like me. It's not six pack Sally. It's not thong bearing Frida who's taken pictures in the background of the toilet when you see the toilet seat still up. It's not about that. I don't give a shit about what you look like naked. If you're with a good partner, they won't give a shit what you look like either. But get strong, be capable, live your life, and then suddenly, not weight loss, but fat loss is a game that you can play and you can win.